Hi, Aquarius. Welcome. Uh, Aquarius, I hope you guys are having a great October 2021. Um, actually, mid-October 2021. So, um, I hope that, uh, yeah, you guys are having a great October. We are almost to the new year. All right. So, Aquarius, um, today we're going to do something a little different. I'm doing a Tree of Life spread for you guys. Um, so you're going to see uh, me lay some cards down. The first four on the bottom are going to be the root of your tree of life. Uh, so this is, you know, energies that are either getting ready to play out in your life right now or, or have started to. And this represents your physical, emotional, mental, spiritual body, okay? And then the next card is going to be one card in the middle, and that represents the base of your tree of life, okay? So this is uh, where you're at in your life right now, okay? Like what you're learning um, or just, you know, overall where, where you're at in your journey. And then the next row will be your branches, the, the um, branches of your tree of life. And so that's where you're headed. That's what you're going towards. That's what you can, um, expect to experience in the new, near future. So Aquarius, please like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate all of your love and support. Um, and, uh, remember this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of, all of y'all out there. Okay. Um, so just take what does, leave the rest behind. And um, if you are looking for a personal reading, you can check me out at MissMariesAngelicOracle.com for a personal reading. Um, what else? I think that's about it, you know? Um, yeah. Oh, if you um, feel like giving me some feedback about this reading that I'm doing, um, please feel free to do so. Uh, constructively and positivity with positivity. All right, here we go, Aquarius. I am now cutting the the deck, and I'm using the Sacred Forest Oracle. All right, so this is all about. Um, this is uh, inspired by the Celtic. Um, you know, the, the, the forest, the animals, the trees, everything being connected as one, you know, from the ground up, from the water, the earth, the planet, um, all energies. I am you, you are me. And my lineage is Celtic, heavy, heavy Celtic. So I really resonate a lot with these cards. Um, and then Aquarius, I'm going to start flipping these cards over, but, um, I will get you the end here, some advice from the angels. All right. To close out your reading. So first we have Eagle spirit, which represents freedom. You know, this is freeing yourself. Um, this is freeing yourself from. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm just hearing a few things. Um, things that are restricting you. Um, the need to free yourself. Like this is the energy you're in right now. Remember? So the need to free yourself from any self restraints any, um, mindsets or thought processes or, um, anything that's holding you back, anything that's not for your highest, greatest good Aquarius. Okay. Um, because you want to have success in your life. And I'm seeing that here with the secret spring card. And there is a opportunity for success, but you have to first bring in the change. And I, I'm really picking up for a lot of you Aquarius is out there that this is, has to do with your mental, your mental thoughts. I keep seeing the eight of swords, you know, from the tarot 
Um, I keep seeing the Eight of Swords of like mentally being, oops, uh, trapped in your thoughts. Um, that is keeping you stuck. Like you're literally being stuck and staying stuck and it's because of your mental mindset. I thought Eight of Swords was really close, but it's not. I was going to try to show you for those of you who are, you know, maybe don't know. Um, and, and the reason is because you need to accept. There needs to be acceptance for things as they are. Um, you know, you can't control things. You can't, you can't, there are certain things you don't have control. There it is. There are certain things that you just don't have control over and maybe you need to stop trying to control things. Um, see, it's like a mental imprisonment. Like if you look at this energy, they are not, they're just blindfolded. They're like, they think they're stuck, but they're really not stuck. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you could get out of that. What you're cloaked, like you're not chained to anything. You're just, you're, all you'd have to do is literally kick those, um, swords down and out of your way and, and free yourself. So it's a, wow. Okay. And freedom, right? It's a matter of freeing yourself, Aquarius. Um, because your success is waiting. It is. There's, there's success waiting for you on the other side, but it's just a matter of, um, you know, you, uh, bringing in, being able to free yourself of whatever it is that's been holding you back. You know, this could be per people, places, things. It could be, I keep hearing childhood. Yeah. Sorry for that yawn. I usually only yawn when the sign that I am reading for is, has been kind of going through something for a long time and they're, they're just physically and mentally exhausted. Cause I actually feel that all of a sudden. So, um, yeah, that, that, you know, for there to be a change, you need to accept certain things about yourself, about others, about, your journey, your purpose, um, about, you know, what you're meant to be doing. Um, and I just keep hearing control a lot for some reason, like, you know, maybe for some of you Aquarius out there, you had, you know, Aquarius, but then you have some of the con more, um, of the Zodiac signs that, you know, are, are, have like that naturally they're just controlling i keep hearing aries for some reason maybe you have a lot of aries in you sagittarius leo so like more fire in you um but letting that letting that shield down letting go of that freeing yourself you know from that um and that's what I feel the energy you're in right now is, um, and the need to accept that in order for you to have experience, you know, the success, you have to like free yourself of that. So yeah, there we go. Purification. This is literally, um, purification is about cleansing yourself, um, purifying yourself, right? Releasing any toxicities. Uh, letting go of anything toxic, removing that from a, your life altogether. Um, this can be anything. It can be um, people. It can be like foods, you know, addictions, you know, drinking. It can be family. It can be, you know, there's friends. There's so many things. A job. Um, purifying yourself. Purifying your energy. Um you know, because you're meant to shine. Um, it's like the releasing, it's like the purge of, of anything and everything that just is not for your highest good. So that's where you're at in your life right now. You're faced with that energy. You're faced with that decision that you need to make about this, where 
there's a big, huge, like, release that needs to happen, a purge that really needs to happen for you right now, Aquarius. Um, because I have a feeling, like, if, if you can get through this and you can actually do this and stick to it, and change your thoughts and your mind, that, um, these cards up here, you know, are going to reflect that. It's going to, these are going to reflect where you're heading in, in all of this. Okay. So these are your tree branches. Yeah. Prosperity. Um, you're going to learn patience. You're heading for patience, uh, stillness. So reflecting and letting go. It's like, once you, um, once you do this, once you can, you know, purify and purge yourself and, um, free yourself, freedom, free, free, free. It just keeps coming. Oh my gosh. It's right on my coffee cup in front of me. I just noticed you guys can't see it. Um, but my cop, my coffee cup says free ish. And, um, once you free yourself of that, you know, it's, it's going to bring in prosperity. You're going to learn patience. You're going to learn to have patience with yourself. Um, you're going to, you're going to be able to self-reflect and know, you know, you're going to be able to be in silence and, and self-reflect and be able to know what you need to let go of. And I feel that mostly about yourself. I really do because the stillness card, like if you look at this card, this she's, it's just her, she's alone and she's, you know, looking at the reflection in the water. Um, it doesn't look like her reflection to me. It looks more like a swan. So, you know, you might want to look up the spiritual meaning of a swan Aquarius, but, um, it's like, you know, for me, um, it has a lot to do with, uh, I, again, keep hearing inner child, um, some things freeing yourself from some things from your past, your childhood, um, accepting things for what they are, for what they were, um, you know, because there's so much more ahead for you. Uh, after this purge, there really is, you're going to be coming back into your, ener your own energy. Um, I mean, there's just so much you're going to be, you're going through a lot of change right now. Um, and so what I'm also hearing is that you need to take really good care of yourself. You need to, um, you know, try to be healthy and stay grounded. Um, you know, you're an air sign, so, you know, it's, it's, it's important to try to stay out of your thoughts. And when you are in your thoughts to be grounded about what those thoughts are, make sure that they're positive and, and not negative, um, you know, self praise, self, uh, self care, you know, anything positive for you right now, Aquarius. So I'm going to go ahead and close this reading out with some advice from the angels. What do the angels have to say for last messages for Aquarius? What can I give last messages from the angels? My lovely Aquarius. Okay. Okay. So I've got abundance, improving health, and unlikely, and here's how I read this. Um, there's abundance waiting for you, um, but, you know, it's, uh, there's a challenge here for you. You're, I feel like, you know, you're, um, look, if you, if you are struggling with uh, uh, bringing change into your life, Aquarius. The next cards I have are helpful people. And what I'm reading 
really, really picking up from that is like you, um, it might be a good idea, you know, for you to, to either reach out to your friends and family, but maybe even more so of like, um, a professional, someone that can help you through all of this energy. Um, especially with, especially with what I keep hearing about, um, inner child, you know, some things have really affected you over the course of your life and that has made it really challenging for you. Um, and you know, you might, you might need, you know, some, some support through that, you know, a little bit more than what just friends and family can actually provide for you. Um, you know, a, a safer environment. So you feel comfortable with sharing, uh, your experiences and, and, you know, helping you get to a place of acceptance without feeling judged is what I'm hearing. So, um, Aquarius, I love you guys so much. Um, sending you love and light. I do see some positive things, you know, in your guys's uh, future. Um, you know, it's just a matter of you guys, uh, working through some of these energies here. Um, you know, getting through this purification process and, and self-acceptance, you know, um, because when you can get through that, uh, when you can get through that, um, and learn to be patient and, and, you know, patient and learn to let go and, and, and learn the stillness and, and self-reflection and, you know, once you get through all of that, um, it's going to turn over a new leaf for you in your life. You're, you're going to start seeing the whole, the whole world in a new perspective. Um, and I believe that it's going to bring abundance in as this card here, you know, um, there's abundance waiting for you and you have to believe that it's waiting for you. I just heard that. But if you don't, your health is, you know, it's like your health, some of you out there, your health is being affected. Um, and, you know, you, uh, that's why the helpful people are coming in because your health is being affected and it, it's not going to, they're saying that, you know, you're, it's, you're not, you're not going to overcome that. It's unlikely that you will overcome that. If you don't, um, if you don't bring in this change. Okay, Aquarius. So I'm wishing you guys all the best. I'm sending you love and light and encouragement. Know that I'm thinking about you and I'm sending you all prayers. Okay. Uh, we are all one, right? So, you know, what, what's affecting you is affecting everyone else. So I just want you to know that, um, I love you and I care about you and I am supporting you and sending you, you know, positive vibes and praying for you every day. All right, Aquarius. So you guys take care. I hope my reading resonated and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye Aquarius. Thank you.